The aim of this research is to understand how the brain on a regional level and particularly the different parts of the brain respond to a low oxygen environment or hypoxia. My PhD research is focused on understanding how the brain changes in response to a low oxygen environment similar to that encountered at high altitude or in a variety of diseases. Behind me is the Altitude Research Centre and inside of this glass sealed chamber we can control the amount of air and oxygen that is in that air inside the room and thus how much oxygen the individual inside here breathes. The reason we want to understand the brain's response to hypoxia is because hypoxia in the brain is related to um, a variety of diseases such as stroke, Alzheimer's disease and also in the natural processes of ageing. When we lower down the oxygen from around about a normal level of 21% oxygen in the air we breathe to 12%, we can then use different uh, techniques such as ultrasonography of the large arteries in your neck to understand how the blood flow into your brain changes in response to low oxygen. Going from the Altitude Research Centre, we transport participants using large airbags to the MRI scanner behind me. As you can see there, the participant about to go into the scanner. The scanner enables us to look inside the individual's brain and we can get a variety of different images, really high resolution inside of the person's brain, ranging from a picture of the cerebral blood flow, the blood flowing around different parts of the brain, to the structure and changes in the arteries inside your brain and how a person's brain may change in its functioning in response to a task. This research is part of Matthew's PhD, it's also part of a larger program of research we're doing here. The beauty of the MRI unit at Bangor is that it's purely for research. So we have the advantage that we have this wonderful piece of kit which is used by psychology and sports sciences and people within the College of Human Sciences. But it's also a wonderful teaching tool. So we run a Masters in Neuroimaging. Matthew is a recent graduate of that program where he used magnetic resonance imaging to study hypoxia. He's continuing that on with his uh, PhD. Our students come away with a vast level of experience, uh, not only in what MRI is, but how to actually do MRI. At the end of uh, this research and my PhD, I hope to be equipped with a variety of skills in using MRI, particularly and ultrasound, to investigate the human brain in a variety of different con uh, conditions, both in health and in illness.